Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is a Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in the fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. If you have an explication request, you can send your explication request to explication request at guruexamprep.com. Uh, let's get going on this one. An investor has arranged with her bank to have $1,000 sent to Capco balance on the same day each month. Okay, as a test taker, we should recognize that when we have fixed dollars invested regularly, this is probably going to be about dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is very testable on all of your exams. And there are three test questions on dollar cost averaging. What makes it work? Right here, we have that fixed dollars, $1,000 invested regularly every month. So that's test question number one. Test question number two is what is the end result? The end result is we're going to have a lower average cost than those of the underlying shares because we're doing exactly what we should be doing, which is buying more shares when they're low and less shares when they're high. So that's test question number two. What is the end result? Lower average cost, the underlying shares. Test question number three, that doesn't guarantee a profit. You know, I could easily make up an exhibit here where your you know, uh, average cost is still lost based on your total investment. So that's test question number three. Now, outside of testing fantasy land, you'd be hard pressed to uh, convince me that somebody who's dollar cost averaging in a mutual fund, if they stick with it long enough, it's going to work out. But again, uh, are we always two nasty words we never use in the securities industry or guarantee in the word of proof? Okay, for the first month of this arrangement, the prices of the funds have been uh, $10, $12.50, $15, $13, 25 Okay, so when we uh, invest in month one, 1,000 shares divided by 10, we get 100 shares. And now it goes up to twelve fifty, and we cut back on our purchases, right? Just like we would if we went into a supermarket and, you know, they started marking up the prices. We'd probably cut back on how much we're uh, buying. Maybe we switch from meat to chicken for whatever, right? It's only in the securities industry that people like buying at higher and higher prices, right? So, <laughs> okay, so now we get uh, 80 shares. Oh, month three, we invested $1,000. It's now 15. And again, we're cutting back. Uh, you know, we're buying more when they're low and less when they're high, which is the whole point. So we got 66.67. 1,000 is 13.25. Now we buy more shares because it's a lower price. So we now have a total of 322.414 shares. You know, remember in mutual funds, what's nice is you can buy full and fractional shares. And so here we have a couple of times bought some fractional shares, not a problem in a mutual fund. All right, so now let's see what we've invested. We've invested $4,000. That $4,000 has bought us $322 and, uh, or excuse me, 322.14 shares. So our average cost is $1,242. So remember the whole second test point here is what is the result? Our average cost, $1,242, should be lower than the average uh, share price. So simple average here, you should be able to, you know, I always joke, people joke back at me, if you can't decide what to do, divide, right? So <laughs> most of the test is division. So we total those four prices, we divide the average share price was 1269. And so this is a test question about number two. By the way, this is on the SIE, it's on series seven, it's on 65, it's on 66, it's all, all the exams, right? So here, it makes sense, by the way, because most people, don't have a bunch of money to invest in the stock market. I mean, some people do with a lump sum, but it makes sense to invest in drips and drabs because that's how most people get money, right? They say, hey, can you commit to $50 a month or $100 a month or $200 a month? In this case, $1,000 a month. All right, we have the answer to the question. Uh, the average cost was $1,242. The average share price was $1,269. And so the answer to the question is $0.27. Cents. Again, it's not so much this math as that you know the actual test questions on dollar cost averaging. Way of review, what makes it work, fixed dollars invested regularly. In this case, $1,000 a month. What's the end result? It'll always be the end result that we have a lower average cost, $1,242 in this example, than the average share price, $1,269 in this example, and it does not guarantee a profit. All right, well, remember, inch by inch, your exams are cinch. Yard by yard, your exams are hard. I will put this in uh, the various playlists, and I'll also in the video description put a link uh, to a mutual fund uh, lecture.